Okay, so let me give you just a really quick intro to uh, how you can lay out the density data to build a nice sharp looking graph for the uh, presentation of the paper that you guys are going to produce here. So here's the data that you guys collected in the forest. Let's just assume that you've processed all this data and you've got the absolute da density data and the relative density data for this. And so let's uh, look at how we could build a nice relative density graph uh, to uh, really organize things and make it look clear. Um, so I'm just going to assume that, again, you've calculated that data. And what you're going to want to do is take those calculations and build yourself a quick little data table, table over here. So let's just say that this is for the data for site A. And we're going to want to put all of this data on the same set of axes so it's really uh, nicely uh, comparative. And so we've got the canopy layer here, and in the canopy layer, we've got the, uh, the AXA, the A-S-C-A, or the sugar maple. So you can use either that genus and species designation or give it the more common name. We also have the P-I-S-T, which is the Pinus strobus, or the white pine. Uh, great. And then uh, just give yourself a little space in here, and we'll put the understory data down here. And we also have sugar maple in the understory, uh, almost totally dominating that. Uh, and then there's also the CA, CA, the Carpinus caroliniana. It's also sometimes called musclewood or blue beech. And I don't have the actual numbers here, so I'm just going to make up some data to fill this in just so you can see how this graph is produced. And it looks like in the canopy, though, you know, it's about, uh, what, 50-50. Uh, so we can... Let's just say it's 0.5 or 50% uh, sugar maple and 0.5, 50% white pine. And in the understory, it's almost completely dominated by that sugar maple. Let's just say that it's 90% uh, or 0.9 and the musclewood is 10% or 0.1. Those numbers probably aren't right, but good enough. Okay, so you've got all that data, uh, how you need it here. And all you need to do then is highlight that and grab all of it and go up here to your charts menu and click on that little tab, grab the column number and we're gonna to wanna to just go with the clustered column. Nice, and we've got a nice little chart that comes out of that. And we've got the site labeled, the layers labeled, and the different species labeled in here. And we just wanna kinda of clean this up a little bit, make it look sharp. Uh, you can get rid of this, this isn't really telling us much of anything, so let's just click on that, delete that. Nice, and let's polish up the bars themselves so they just look a little bit more clear. So click on those and you can see that it highlights all of them. Nice, and what you need to do is then hold down the control key on your keyboard and control click on one of those bars and it'll bring up this context menu. And you wanna choose the format data series uh, menu command here. And this is gonna give us a bunch of choices. Um, I don't like the way that Excel kind of shades these things, so let's just change the, the fill here from the automatic choice, and you can choose, let's give it a, just a black color that'll print well in black and white. That's nice and bold, that looks better. And then let's just tighten up the bars a little bit here. So let's click the options choice up here, and let's play around with the gap width, or the width between those, and let's just say, let's set it for 10%. That's nice, and you can see, the bars have fattened up uh, a little bit here, but they've brought closer together and that looks nice. Uh, just click on okay. And good, you've got a nice graph. You can scale it if you want to by clicking and dragging on the corner down here, bigger or smaller, however you want it. Looks good. Uh, you should label your axes uh, and you should probably put a title on this. You can do all that in the chart layout menu up here. So just click on that and you can choose the different choices, chart title, uh, say you want the title above the chart and you could add something nice in there. Uh, same thing with adding uh, axis titles. Uh, and you're all good to go. Um, the thing that I would like to see you guys do is ultimately take these graphs that you produce and cut them and paste them into a Word document. Best way to do that is just make sure that you've got your chart highlighted and you can go up to the uh, Excel menu up here and edit and copy it, or you can just do the command C key and that will copy it to your, uh, to, your, um, to your clipboard and then you can command V or paste special into Word. Uh, talk to me about that if you need help. Good.